what are the most common mistakes or some of the most common mistakes that new real estate investors and self storage make? Yeah. I'm writing a book on it as we speak. That's going to be out before long. So um, I got 101 of them because that's the title of the book. So I'll, I'll <laughs> focus on how about the overarching one? <clears throat> and that is, um, I, I think, and, and perhaps I'm guilty of this. You know, we've been teaching and training people how to do this for 16 years. And, you know, we, we, we state that it is a, a very simple and predictable business model because it's compared to other businesses. It is. It's a simpler and predictable business model. You know, we know the numbers, we know the equilibriums and we can go into a, an existing facility or a development project and make our projections and, and darn near hit our marks and, and, and beat them almost every time. Um, but so I, I, I say that I'm, I'm a product of that. And that is, I think people have heard that enough and they've heard that, you know, this is a simple, less moving parts. You know, you don't have the rehabs, you know, you lock them out. They don't pay their money and then you just blow it out and you're done. You move on to the next. And all that's true, but it's not a hobby. I mean, this is a business and you have to treat it as such and you have to walk the four corners of your business and you have to understand it before you get in. Um, you, as, as most people know that are in commercial real estate, you make a $10,000 mistake in your underwriting, meaning you missed some expenses by 5,000 and you missed them. Um, you know, they overstated the income um, for late fees and other things that shouldn't have been counted. Well, a $10,000 mistake in underwriting um, is a hundred to $120,000 in value that, that you would overpay for a facility. So you need to understand the nuances, how to value them, how to underwrite them before um, putting offers in understanding how to analyze a market. And then for gosh sakes, um, you don't take your hands off the wheel and assume that this is a mailbox business because no rental business is. I don't care who you say, uh, listen to or, or who says it, it's not. It's a business and a business needs to be tended. So uh, long with an answer to your question, Jay, but um, I, the mistake that people make is that they think and they hear and assume that this is a simple business because it's simpler than what they were doing before. Um, but it, it, it means that they have to understand it and they have to tend it and, and you do have to farm the business uh, once you uh, own it and constantly be working, looking at ways to grow occupancy, to grow rates and reduce expenses. And, and that is perpetual and that is on a regular basis. Mm -hmm.